Welcome everyone to my channel. Today we have a question on the board. It's on depreciation, okay? From the first principle, okay? Depreciation from the first principle. The question is y equal to x to the power of 4. Then dy to ds will be equal to what? Now, I've dropped some videos on depreciation using the formula method. But today, we want to look at how we can um, uh, differentiate a function from the first principle. Now, in our previous class on differentiation, we are told that if you have um, a function of this kind, if you have y equal to your x to the power of n from our formula, then your dy, the earth, is equal to bring this n power back. They will not give us here n x the n raised to n minus one. If we apply this formula, so if we apply this formula to this function, then our dy the earth will automatically be four. To the power of x or three. So this will be the answer to this using the formula method. But today we want to see how we can differentiate this function from the first principle. Okay, so let's take down our question. Then we have here solution. All right. But before going to this class, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe. I will subscribe. Do well to turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop a wonderful video like the one you're about to watch right now. So let's take the question down. Here we have our y equal to x to the power of 4. Now look at what we do here. From this point, we now add change in y to this side and also change in x to this other side. Okay? In other words, a little change in both sides. So from here we're going to have here your y plus change in y equal to x plus change in x or to the power of 4 okay because x here is raised to the power of 4 so from here we use the binomial theorem to expand this remember your pascal triangle which says let's get the coefficient for our terms so we have 1 1 or 2 1 then 1 3 3 1 uh, 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. So with this, let's get out our terms from here. We want to expand this now. So here, the left-hand side, we have y plus change in y equal to your x to the power of 4, which is the first term, plus your 4x to the power of 3 into the change in x there plus the next one is 6 coefficient, so we have x to the power of 2, bracket change in x, r to the power of 2, plus the next one is 4, okay, 4x, the into change in x, r to the power of 3, plus, and the next one, we give us here, um, change in x, r to the power of 4. Good. So this is the expansion from this. All right, now if you look at this, what we do next is simple. Send this y to the left-hand side of the equation. So if we do that, on the left-hand side, we're left with change in y, okay, change in y equal to your x to the power of 4 plus 4x to the power of 3 bracket change in x, then plus 6x squared bracket change in x r squared plus 4x, the bracket change in x, r to the power of 3, plus change in x, r to the power of 4, minus y. I move this y to this side of the equation. Now, recall that at the beginning, here we said y is equal to x to the power of 4. That is the function. So we cannot replace y with this value with x to the power of 4. So let's put it here and see what that gives us in turn. And so we're going to have the exchange in y is equal to x to the power of 4 plus 4x to the power of 3 
bracket change in x bracket log 6 x squared bracket change in x r squared plus 4x bracket change in x all to the power of 3 there blocks bracket change in x all to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 4 easy okay now we're having plus x to the power of 4 here and we're having minus x to the power of 4 automatically then this and this will leave so this now implies so we have our change in y equal to left here with 4 to the power of x to the power of 3 okay bracket your change in x close bracket plus 6x squared okay into your change in x r squared r squared close bracket plus you have the next we have 4x there into a change in x close bracket to the power of 3 there plus your change in x all to the power of 4. good so what we do here is to divide both sides by change in x so if we divide through by change in x so we're going to have this to so change in x then everything here all of a change in x so if we divide each of these terms by change in x the first one here we are going to have here 4 to the power of 3 so your change in y all of a change in x is equal to yeah change in s into change in x here we are left with 4 x to the power of 3 plus change in s into one of the changes x square here we are left with 6 x squared then into change in x close bracket plus one of this dividing this we left with 4 x into change in x r squared plus this dividing this will give us change in x r to the power of 3 this is what we have here now now whenever you are differentiating using the uh, first principle or from the first principle and after um, you divide it through and you still have change in x on this other side what you do is to take limit as change in x tend to zero okay so we take limit on this side we also take limit on this other side as change in x tend to uh, zero so yeah we'll take limit okay limit as change in x tend to zero put this in bracket change in y all over um change in x is equal to also take limit on this other side too as change in x tend to zero too so let's put this in bracket our 4x to the power of 3 plus 6x squared bracket change in x close bracket plus your 4x um, bracket change in x r squared plus the change in x r to the power of 3 close bracket here all right so as change in x tend to zero what will happen here so we're going to have the left hand side to be dy okay all over dx this is equal to here we're going to have this to be zero so zero times this will give us this zero this zero this zero so we are now left with four x to the power of three therefore our dy dx okay will now be equal to four x to the power of 3. Now if you use formula method to simplify this, you're going to get your answer to be 4x to the power of 3 like we did in the first place before um, uh, solving true. Okay, so this is our answer. Remember, this is all I must TV and my name is Jix Anemo. If you learned something good from this video, give the video a thumbs up. And if you have a question with regard to this differentiation from the first principle, drop it in the comment section below. Remember, I love you and every one of us at Online Mass TV love you because you are always there. Thanks once again.